All right, this is what I came up with for the um, my little water tower. Originally, I was trying to get it up against this wall here, um, but I was worried about access to that um, faucet. I don't want people to have to actually go or reach underneath this thing to uh, to turn the water on and off for this. Also, it was kind of cramped in between that back fence wall and this. It was like right up against the uh, side of this hose here. But anyway, I wind up putting it here, which is gonna make my routing from this um, downspout to over there a little longer, but I think it'll be all right. I got some plumbing fixtures at the store. I'll show you those in just a second. Um, I got these two rain barrels. They're on closeout at Home Depot. And uh, basically, the reason why I got them is because they are slightly less ugly than the uh, pickle barrel ones. I got um, an HOA. And I'm sure they would take exception with these big blue doomsday prepper looking containers with water in them. So I think these are kind of a good option. Anyway, they were originally somewhere around 100 and forty fifty dollars and they were closing out for 63 so went ahead and got two of them i might go back and get another one um so i'm gonna have the so there's this port right here in the middle um there's various ways that you could link these together or also set them up uh the way i have it is so that these buckets will fill up it'll basically fill up this one from that um downspout I'm going to run a line like around the wall and then tap into the back of this. I'll show you how that works in a second. And then I'm going to couple these two together with the, with the fitting. And um, so when, the, when this one fills up, these both will fill up at the same rate. It'll go up to a certain point and then it'll start dumping again in the, in the drain spout. That way I don't wind up with water running out of these things. Um, it's a little bit like some people just have it so that you're... Uh, downspouts dumping directly into this but like I said if you they'll just fill up and then spill over and you, you really want to control the where the runoff goes from the rain off of your house so um, I think they're yeah so I'll go ahead and uh, show how how to do that um, so there it comes with this uh, fitting already like glued in this is what they call a uh, I don't know they have like threaded and then the uh, there's different names for these, but this one is, this, this is hooked up so that you can just connect a garden hose onto here. The thread pitch is wider than this one. Um, so anyway, I got this plug. I'm just going to plug this hole on both of these. Then I'm going to put a, um, like I said, a connector that goes from this side to that side to communicate water back and forth between the two barrels. And then I'm going to put a um, spigot here one down there so that if I independently fill up one or the other, I could drain the water out of that, that barrel. And then I'm also gonna have a, a valve in the middle so that if I get this one full, uh, I could turn the valve off and then just use the water out of here or vice versa. Anyway, I really don't have any plans to, to, um, to use any of that. I just wanna program the functionality in up front that way. If I ever needed to, I'd be able to use it. Uh, so the, each one of these barrels comes with these outlets. Um, it's actually sealed over on the back. It might be hard to see with the color and the contrast. Anyway, what I'm going to do is uh, you just take a hacksaw and cut off the end of this or some kind of a saw. And then it creates a port. I found that this coupling right here, it's, a, uh, it's for drains like under your sink type of drain. Um, I think it accommodates a quarter inch or one and a half inch pipe. I had to measure all this because it wasn't documented anywhere in the specs on what these sizes were. So I just, uh, I just measured those. Anyway, so um, I'm gonna put this barrel on this side and then I'll have this inlet established onto here and then I'll run a PVC pipe out of here. I'll connect it to the wall and run it all the way down the wall to that drain spout. Um, hopefully, one of the problems that I had was that this outlet is, or inlet, is bigger diameter than the outer diameter of a three-quarter inch pipe. Actually, I think I use a one-inch pipe, 
And so I might need to tighten this down. I'm hoping I get a good seal on that, but I'll show that in a minute too. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wire it up and then I'll, uh, I'll get back with you. Okay, I got a whole bunch of fittings here. Um, some of them came with a kit. It was for a um, rain barrel diverter, is what they call it. And basically what it is, this um, kit I bought on Amazon was 20 something bucks. But you drill a circular hole in the downspout, you insert this in and you can see this profile, how it works. The water comes off the side of the downspout into this and then there's a, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a channel that siphons the water off and or not siphons it off, but it allows it to drain off into whatever drain pipe that you put on this backside. Anyway, you stick that in the hole and it becomes an outlet. And then I figured out you could stick a one inch pipe in this hole and it fits really well. It's like a compression fit. I'm gonna go ahead and put a band clamp around this also. Yeah, I'm gonna put a band clamp around this once I stick the pipe in. And basically that'll help to make sure you have a positive Retain retainment of that um, that pipe. All right. So this is what I got. This is the um, the hose fitting, slip fitting, or whatever they call it. it basically, will attach to the lower portion of the um, that threaded fitting that they have in that rain barrel on the bottom. This T goes off down there and connects to the other side. Uh, and then I provided a threaded fitting for that nozzle. The other nozzle is going to go here. And then I got the this valve to turn it on and off. Um, one, just a comment for doing this. You want to wear gloves because this stuff will stain your fingers. Um, this purple stuff here, this is no joke. It will get on anything. You can't get it off. Um, also, you don't need to put a lot. You just put enough to make the connection. Um, you can see it squeezes out down that pipe. Uh, you could probably barely, yeah, so you can see mountains of that shit in there. You probably don't want a huge excess of, uh, of that in the pipe where you're running water. Just, I think it drives and it's probably fairly benign, but anyway, um, a little bit goes a long way. All you're really trying to do is, uh, I think what it does, it changes the um, the phase of the, the plastic and it just kind of melts these two plastic pieces together and then all the solvents evaporate out and it, and it fuses them to some degree. Um, yeah, so I mean, it doesn't take like a lot of material to do that. Anyway, I'm going to go get this fitted up. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, um, got them all tied and attached. These are kind of corny, uh, plastic ones, but it should be all right. If it doesn't, I'll replace it with something. Um, it's noteworthy. These are pretty stiff. I mean, they, they stick out fairly far, so you, you need to really make sure that you don't ever push hard on there because it'll just bend and break that root off. So um, mine's going to be up and out of the way, so hopefully it doesn't get hit. Um, this valve... It works out pretty good with this three quarter inch. It seems like it's not, like the spance is sufficiently short that you're not getting so much deflection in this that it's all waving all over the place. It seems like fairly steady. Um, there's a slight angular mismatch of the table or this relative to these two barrels and where they're at. So I'm gonna, this one's kind of rocking a little bit, but I feel like once the baby gets full of water, it'll set down and that little preload will help stabilize it even more. Anyway, um, so now, so I went ahead and taped and plugged this one up here. Uh, I need to get a similar plug. The kit only had one. And so I need to figure out what to do here. Uh, um, this is the diverter kit I got made by Earth Minded. Got the parts. Um, this is actually has enough parts in it to do an entire barrel. Like if you bought a one of those um, like pickle barrels off of Craigslist or whatever, it has all the plumbing in it to hook just one of these up. I read the reviews for a bunch of other ones, and um, 
some of them that look a lot more complicated and require you to cut a segment out of your um, your drain. Um, they have bad reviews. Apparently, some of them did not operate as intended. Anyway, uh, this is the package you came in. And like I said, it's got all the stuff you need to put one of these barrels together. And so, um, it's got all the hardware for the uh, faucet. I mean, for the um, diverter and also to plumb the uh, the rain barrel. Anyway, uh, it comes with a bunch of stuff. Like if, if at the end of the season you wanted to... Um, like block off that port and disconnect everything so that you know if you're worried about the rain barrel freezing it's got these to hold this uh this rubber do that this is really i wish they'd just sell this and uh, let me do all the additional plumbing but you know it costs like 26 bucks maybe I don't know. all right something else that's pretty cool about this kit is it comes with all the little hole saws and stuff you need to tap into your um diverter I mean, into your downspout. So I rigged this one up. This basically is going to cut a hole big enough for that rubber fitting to fit through. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and drill that now. Wooden structure here. I went ahead and cut the uh, the back off of this fitting up here and used that hose clamp. Um, it looks like it got a pretty good seal, honestly. And then I did my little 90 degree band back around the house. I put it right up against the house just to yeah it's going to kind of be supported by that cement wall there and um i didn't want it kind of flapping around the wind and stuff it's fairly secure um it's kind of i was expecting it to be kind of a shitty connection because it's cantilevered out and there's nothing really supporting it um, i went ahead and drilled that hole in the um downspout put that fitting on I might go up there and cut that um, worm gear band off of that band clamp. Um, but I went ahead and glued all this business together, so it's all connected now. Um, I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to stain the top of this just to make it more weather resistant. And then I'll reconnect everything, and uh, that'll be it. I'm going to step back, and I'll show you what it looks like from far back. It's actually... Then it's not as big of an eyesore as I expected it would be, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'll I'll walk back like 30 yards and then let you see it. Okay, the lighting's not really helping me. I didn't go quite 30 yards, but um, one of the things I was gonna mention is it's really important to get that as parallel as possible or level to the ground. This little run right here. Um, what that'll do, like I said, when that barrel fills up, that pipe will fill up with water and it'll start pushing the water backwards into the downspout and keep keep you from overflowing the, uh, the, the barrel. Um, so what I did, the way that I leveled that out is I had my wife hold, so I turned this around sideways like that and I had my wife basically hold a plumb line from here and then I kind of went over and I got a bubble let me show you what that is. So I get this plumb line here. Chalk line, whatever you want to call it. And then I got this uh, little bubble level that I, that goes, that basically attaches to this, this line. And um, it hangs down like this. And you can see when you're plumb or even with the ground. And so she held it up to... We turned the barrel sideways and stuck it out like that. She held it up right in the middle of that uh, little port that they put on the back there. And then I got up on the ladder over there and kind of held it up until it leveled out. And then I marked it and then just drilled that little hole. So you can see the, um, the water is basically going to go up in this bucket. It'll get up to here. And then once it fills up, it'll start pushing water back out that pipe. And um, the shape of that cup, it's got a hole in the center. So once the uh, once it fills up, it starts spilling over back into the drain. And that'll make it so it just runs out like it used to. And not come overboard out of these barrels and get water everywhere next to my foundation. 
All right, well, that's all I got. Um, I'm gonna do another review on that little kit that I bought. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate because I just ripped the, all the parts out like a little kid and put them on, but it was actually a fairly well put together kit. I was thinking about it and uh, I mean, they provide everything you need. They provide this Teflon tape, uh, all the fittings to do like three or four different uh, plumbing scenarios. Um, screws a lot of times I buy these kind of like little get you know kits or fittings or whatever you wind up back at the Home Depot like looking for little you know some kind of solution to get you finished with the job and it had pretty much everything you need to plumb one of these uh, barrels I mean this barrel came with all the fittings like these uh, threaded fittings already installed in it but it has all the plumbing parts required to uh, take just a regular barrel drill holes in it and then um, um, attach you know like drain lines and um, and all that so it's a pretty good little kit I'll type in the description or in the notes I'll type um what it is and put it put an Amazon link anyway that's all I got appreciate it and have a good Saturday